Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. If you celebrate, happy holidays regardless. I hope you're having a good one. We got some news today. Some band news. Some rule news. Epic possibly enforcing new things, right? The holiday season. The timing just doesn't seem right. Uh, more Season 2 stuff. Discussions of a live event. Yes, you heard that right. Another live event happening already, and I'll show you the evidence why. And much more. Stick with me. A little bit of free stuff. Let's start with the... I'm just going to start right away with the Lamborghini because we've been talking about it it did come out and it is 3500 V bucks that is the opposite of a Christmas present in my mind that like you guys know I've been playing so much of the rocket racing mode I was so set on buying this because it's like my favorite game right now but oh man I don't know if I can allow myself to do that like it almost seems like a mistake in Rocket League for example apparently this was worth around 2,000 V-Bucks so they almost not V-Bucks but credits but you know comparing it real real money wise it's almost double the value so to me they forgot to reduce prices obviously they they launched the first car bundles at like 4,000 V-Bucks 2,500 V-Bucks and then they reduced them significantly I feel like they forgot to reduce this one so I'm not going to be buying it for a little bit. Obviously, if they do take it down and you have bought it, you will be refunded. Now, the focus today was on this, and it kind of blew up yesterday on Twitter, and it was from China. Fortnite may begin enforcing consequences against content creators who post about XP glitches slash XP creative maps. And it's because there was a Brazilian content creator, Sherby, that was warned directly by Epic Games regarding this matter, according to his latest video. Now, this is a, this is a big deal epic has never enforced this so far it's kind of a gray area where there's you know youtube channels built off of promoting xp xp glitches ways to get to level 100 super fast i i, I wouldn't say illegally because if fortnite doesn't enforce it then you're not really doing anything wrong but unethically maybe i don't know how to say it i mean obviously you're not a bad person if you use xp glitches but it's just it's that weird area where they've never given us an official answer so people do it anyways and i'm all on board with that right if, if epic's not going to punish you take advantage if you want to hit level 100 and there's a way to do it you do your thing so this came out and it started scaring people right people who i'm sure watching these videos who have used the xp glitches am i going to get in trouble well Twitter actually noted it, Community Notes solved this issue for us. And here it is, Fortnite has not given an official statement regarding XP maps. This hasn't changed even with this incident that's happened. What happened is this creator, Sherby, was given a warning because he was tricking his audience by saying that they will get bonus XP by using his code. That is a big issue. There is no way to prove if someone is using your supporter creator code. You cannot host a giveaway and attach it to the code because there, there, there's just no way to prove it. And that was the issue. So it's not even related to the XP map. So we're still good. Epic does not seem to be banning people on Christmas, but that's not the case for some of these leakers. There's my transition to the next ban topic. On December 14th, many creator codes were disabled with no explanation. No emails have been sent out and nobody at Epic has reached out to us. And this is from Ghoulie and he's a leaker we use in these videos. Wenzo, who we use so often. And then there, there's a big list of people there. And there's not really a consistency here that, that we, we know about. Like it's not just a bunch of leakers like all these different people are involved in different ways what we know from sam leaks he put out a tweet apparently it's due to people using a samsung exploit to get v bucks and then when they have those new v bucks they're using someone's code and the code gets disabled so it seems like it's a glitch these people should have the issue fixed but this has been 10 days now and again popular leakers that's kind of why we're talking about it and then some a lot of guys there I, i'm not too aware of they're just looking for some communication everyone's a little bit confused and it seems like people are kind of abusing a, a samsung exploit and it might not even be them doing it it's just people using their code let's talk about some of the stuff in the item shop we've got gilded elites pack has now dropped it's a really good looking pack i'm a fan of it it's i think yeah 1725 usd you get some you get some skin 
Minions. I like all of them. The Calamity one's probably my favorite. She looks so good. The Lego stuff comes with it. Will you be picking it up? Code the Camp and Rusher, by the way. That would be the best Christmas gift you can get me. Using the holiday to guilt you into it. Come on. Who am I? I'm the unethical one, man. We've also got a new bundle releasing tonight. Shop Reset. The Exile Quest Pack. The Quest Bundle. The Unlock V-Bucks with this thing. It leaves February 7th, so you don't really have to make your decision today. There's lots of time. Let me know if you're picking that up. And then the Infinite Drift Pack was already released, but it's now been re-granted to those on Xbox who lost it due to the price error when it first released. There was a glitch, a refund, then it was taken away. If you bought it, it should be back in your account. Just log in and check. Every day, Epic Games Store is giving out free games. Today, day six, is Ghostwire Tokyo. Whether you like the game or not, I've never heard of it or many of the games, but you're looking for something new to play, you might as well get the free game on the Epic Games Store. Fortnite history, a quick one here. Just uncovered, Epic was working on a Fortnite mobile spin-off game called Fortnite World Explorers in 2014. Players would gather their roster of heroes, battle enemies, and take control of the map. So I, I did a little history piece in our last video. I thought this one was even cooler, that there was a full, dedicated, separate Fortnite game for mobile. Of course, things have went the other way, whereas the basic version of Fortnite is not available on mobile. You know, mainstream mobile. I, I know there's ways to do it, but the iOS store, etc. Because of the lawsuits going on. So, what could have been? A couple things on Lego. The first one is Ninjago, the thing I think people are most hyped about right now in the Lego world. And in the files, there are sound libraries for the following upcoming enemies. Ninjago, Blizzard Archer, General Vex, and Blizzard Swordmaster. Lego Universe, Lily Livered. Since it's a pirate-themed character, it could just be in the list of pirates. Pirates, Captain Ahoy, Sharkbait, and then Miscellaneous is Smokey the Swindler, Diviner, and Bill the Bandit. There you go. Some news for you. Let me know if you're excited about that. Couple other Lego pieces here. Upcoming Lego Fortnite Gravity Gun. Grab things and throw them at other things is the description. And then there's the upcoming Lego Fortnite Stud Gun. Fully automatic, flexible assault rifle capable of handling all types of combat scenarios. I'm sure this one will be a powerful weapon, a late game weapon. And I like to see all the things they have planned. They have so much planned for Lego. So if you're still loving Lego, you're a fan of it, but you're worried it's going to get stale, don't worry. Tons of stuff is coming. I assume right when they're back, first update, they'll drop, uh, they're back on January 7th. I bet they do the first update either right away, like January 7th, 8th, or just max a week later, and there'll be some Lego stuff attached. Now, two more massive things today, and the first one, kind of on point here with our, our banning theme, and it's not necessarily Fortnite related yet, but it is related to gaming. An article here about a change that the Chinese government has made, and it's related to banning a number of predatory mechanics in games. And here are the banned mechanics. Daily login bonuses, first time purchase discounts and rewards, chained purchase discounts and rewards, gotcha mechanics for miners. And what this means is basically like gambling. It doesn't have to be real life money stuff, but like a, a crate key or something like that. This has actually been banned in other countries as well. But yeah, a random chance feature this, that is accessible by miners, right? It, it is a predatory mechanic as it's obviously addicting. It's addicting for adults too. This wiped a ton of money, ton of market cap off of the Chinese gaming market immediately. The reason these predatory mechanics are used, and maybe some of them you agree with, some of them you don't, but it makes a lot of money. It keeps people addicted, right? It's it, You guys know, like a daily login bonus, how common is that in every single game you play? So I just wonder, right? Related to Fortnite, will it ever leak in where this is maybe banned in UEFN creative games? Possibly. This is uh, obviously the Chinese market is a big market, even though Fortnite China isn't even a thing. The market's so big, these rules could leak in if there's a, a, a positive result for kids kids' mental health or whatever it may be, however you track that data. So we'll see. I thought it was an interesting topic. Let me know your thoughts on any of that. And then finally, according to the API, Chapter 5, Season 1 ends March 8th, while Chapter 5, Season 2 starts March 9th. This is either a really long downtime, 
a placeholder or possibly a live event. So basically because there's a stagger here in season one ending and season two starting, that only happens when there's a live event. Otherwise it's just, it ends, downtime, boom, you know, downtime's like seven hours, but still, it's just right away we get the new season. There's a chance. There is a chance. The popularity of the recent live event maybe has convinced them a little bit that they should do more of this stuff. Again, it could also just be a placeholder, so I'll keep you updated. Touch that like button for me. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.